we have to keep going, that we are resilient and that we cannot give up. We cannot stay down. That when you fall, you get back up. And any of you struggling with whatever's going on, that is part of... Our lesson for the day. I wrote it here. I've been trying to adjust several things. I got this really cool easel, but it's not tall enough. And I don't know. We're gonna work through it, but we're gonna make it work, right? And so I wanna focus on this quote. I'm gonna have to take it out of the really cute easel I got that isn't quite working. This is the lesson for the day, okay? I'm gonna read it to you. The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. And that's by our most gorgeously celebrated Nelson Mandela. And why that quote spoke to me and why I thought it was such a, a beautiful reminder that we're gonna fall. We can't help but fall. When we're babies, we fall. We gotta crawl and walk and run and ride a bike and get on skis and roller skates and, and drive a car and go through life. And there are pains and challenges and hurts and, and disappointments, mm, backstabbing <laughs> and, you know, and loss in the falling that we grow. It's in the rising after we fall. And I thought this quote illustrated that perfectly because if you know Nelson Mandela's history, and I'm no history teacher, but you know that he fought, he went to jail, he almost lost his life several times. Like he was the epitome of a true grand great leader. And he had his challenges in his tenure as a leader. And I think that when we remind ourselves that what goes down must come back up full circle, we can accept the fall more gracefully. And when you get scraped, scratched, break or something, <laughs> fracture another thing, your body will heal. You will go through that process and you will grow stronger as a result of it. And so we must remember that the glory is in the getting back up. The glory is, holy, wow, I just went through that and I'm better for it. And I'm speaking to all of y'all who perhaps didn't feel strong enough, courageous enough, brave enough, popular enough, that you felt alone, you felt like you had no purpose, you felt like you weren't loved or cared for or appreciated or respected. All those feelings that I know I have had, I know what that feeling is. I have felt all those things. I have felt like giving up. I have felt like the end was easier than going on. I have felt these things and I capture them in my book. If you've read my book, Teen Anxiety No More, I quite literally <laughs> describe those episodes that I had where I didn't want to keep going. I had fallen and I truly didn't want to get back up. I truly, truly wanted to stay flat out hopeless and exhausted. And I say this because we will experience that, not just once, more frequently than that, hopefully not too many times, but if I'm any indication as to how much it can happen in one year, 23 was really difficult for me. So when we fall, because it's not if, it's when we fall, we want to get back up. We need not rush getting back up, right? We don't need to like be like, okay, okay, no. You need to go through your healing process in order to get back up stronger, right? So don't judge yourself for however long that is. Just don't stay down. Get back up. And I, not a political person, especially on here. That is not the time, place, audience, right? Most of you can't even vote yet, right? So I am not a political person, 
But gosh darn it, I'd be lying if I said that when I saw Trump get back up after getting shot literally on a part of his head, on his body, I was like, what? What? This man just got shot and he's getting back up and giving us the inspiration that we have to keep going that we are resilient and that we cannot give up. We cannot stay down. That when you fall, you get back up. And any of you struggling with whatever's going on, that is part of your journey. That is part of your process, of your metamorphosis. And do not let it derail you. Do not permit it to keep you down. We are meant for more and we deserve more. And the only way to get more is by keep on going. And the only way we can keep on going is by trusting that what is waiting on the other side is way far better. And that was such an incredible reminder today for all the times that I did not think I could get back up or did not want to get back up and wanted to stay down, I would not have experienced the highs, the beautiful highs that I had this week had I given up. And I just had the incredible opportunity to play I just really hope that you are reminded in your time of need, whether it's now or in the future, when it happens, let's not be alarmed. We might get a little off kilter. <laughs> I'm not suggesting that it can't surprise or shock you. That's not what I'm saying. But it is important to remember that you are capable and strong enough and brave and resilient enough to go through it with your head held high. The greatest glory in living lies, not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Nelson Mandela, thank you for giving us that wisdom and that energy forth that we can launch from. And I think that is utterly key in our experience in life <sighs> so i hope that resonated with you i hope you felt the gravity of this quote and i hope it has kind of readdressed some of your energies as you are encountering what you are currently you know processing whether it's you know a difficult diagnosis a loss a step back or two or three right and i'm just often reminded by you beautiful younglings when we have our one-on-ones that i remember those days where it was just so difficult to push forward and how grateful i am that i did so i hope you have a newfound gumption to see what's coming next to, to get energized and curious and excited about what lies before you. Because I promise you, the best is yet to come. I promise you. And just be grateful, 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 grateful. That gratitude. We made it through another week. It's not that there's relief, but there's excitement and celebration and an appreciation for what we just did this last week. Whatever that was, whatever that was, celebrate it for yourself, right? I celebrate you, I honor you, I thank you, and remember, stay light and bright. Lead the way, my loves, lead the way. I love you all. I am so grateful for you all. I'm wishing you an amazing rest of your Friday, Saturday, yay, and uh, weekend, yay. So on that note, I am going to bid you farewell for today. We shall return soon. I hope this worked out <laughs> well enough, and I'm looking forward to continuing to upgrade this experience for us all. I'll get the mic to work. I'll get the easel to work. I'll get my brain to work. <laughs> But my heart was working the whole time. So in the end, that's what I lean on, my heart. And I love you all. So big love. Happy Friday. Thank you for being here.
Big love. So if you liked this video, go check out the others. I got lots of videos on this channel, so keep watching.